What is going on guys, it is Dodox here and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3, playing as Quarkscar. Welcome back everyone, we are playing against the land of the undead and Prince Kemri himself. And I believe that our objective here is to kill them, but they're attacking me right now and I'm pretty weak, as you can see. But we really have a choice here, we, we kind of have to just fight it and hope we win, so... Let's uh let's open the tanks and let's begin the well the defense. I'm assuming it's an open field battle. Okay, that 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 complicates things a bit. But we have a bunch of stegodons, we got pterodactyls, we got salamanders. Things to watch out for in their armies, definitely the bottom bit there, Jesus. But they got four tomb guard. Nope, they got six tomb guard. That's a very dangerous army. I'm not gonna lie right now. This is going to be difficult, but not impossible. By the way, guys, I would just like to say I'm back recording now and my voice feels better. I still got a bit of a cold, but I am back recording. I do apologize that for the last week or two, there's been like two vids a week. Just, just because like, I just what I was going off pre-recorded footage. You know, it's hard when you're going just off pre-recorded footage, but we're back now. I'm going to turn the cinematic off a little bit because that's a little bit annoying. Right, there we go. Oh, no, that's turning it on. Yeah turning it off my bad right okay so the things we need to do here i would i would say is um we don't really have a choice we can't really sit back and defend is the hill the advantage point here that's the question so what i'm gonna do is pull back i am the one being attacked remember wait if i'm the one being attacked Oh, no, it's only one army. Yeah, I was making sure. Right, so let's grab all of our garrison. Right? And we're going to put our garrison as, like, the front line. Because it's weak. And then our main army can sit behind. Yeah. It's just going to be there for show and tell, the garrison. The stegodongs are going to be key here. So let's spread them out. Okay, we've got pterodactyls. We have a very, very weakened spirit of Tepuk. We do have some bomber pterodactyls over here. They're going to be key, so we'll make this control three. I always put cavalry as control three. So our main army, control one. The injured garrison, control four. Monsters, control five. There we go. We also have some salamanders. Maybe they can do some sort of damage. They don't have great range. We're going to put them there. Loyal. We also have some Lothian Sea Guard, believe it or not. And a very, very injured out mage. And of course, the one and only. No, no, it's not Crocscar. It's a Saurus Old Blood. Forget, this is my budget army. He's going to have to stay back and hope his tornado can hit. Start the battle. Right, one thing we're going to do is first off start doing some bomb runs. What's this? Oh, it's no way. These guys are melee. They just charge in. Right, we're going to want to go for their archers with this then, I would say. Yeah, we want to go with our archers. Right. Are they not moving? Fine. I can get the advantage on the hill. Keep everything nice and together. Is there a way I could heal myself? Does my mage... Do I have any healing abilities? Or have I just got to keep my mage really far back here so it doesn't get attacked? Okay, so we're going to keep it way back. Because if it gets hit by any arrow whatsoever, it's fucked. So we're probably going to want to guard it with something. I would say these sauruses stay with the mage. Yep. Ooh, if you get the salamanders on the hill, they'll be able to do some good shooting. I can't see their arm because of the hill. I have to get on the hill first so I can actually see their army. I suppose the birds could reveal. The birds could reveal where they are. So these guys are going to be a unit. Control 6. Right. We are on the hill. Time to start hitting some Tomb Guard. 
Open fire! There we go. Nice. Use our really shite garrison to do something. Okay, he's together. Get him behind. Oh, is my guy healing? Oh, my Bastildon's range. Let's get him up here. Looks like they're letting me shoot at them for the time being. Alright. It's weird they're letting me shoot at them, but okay. Keep firing. Keep firing. Actually, you know what? Hit them. They're dangerous. Hit them. Ouch. Pull back. They're charging. That's fine. Remember, the first line is not my main line. That's my garrison. We want them to hit the garrison. He's nice and safe. Which means we can maybe start using some abilities. Starting with a bomb. May as well get our units to start firing. Ow! Ow! Yeah, try go over there and deal with the Bastilla bomb. Okay, chariots are distracted. Send some Soras over to deal with them. We can send in our main line. Yes, the bomb hit. Major safe. Yep, yeah, Major very safe. Chain lightning here. It's a good spot. They're all like... Yeah. I'm going to lose the nation's second arm. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to lose troops here. Okay, bringing the bringing the pterodactyls on the archers. Did the chain lightning work? Oh, it went in the wrong direction. Keep an eye on the mage. Keep an eye. He has to be kept an eye on always. Right, bomb that. Salamander's still doing damage. We still don't have all our units in combat. That's fine. Send in more. Oh, that was a good hit. Come on, Lothian Sea Guard. Take out the, fa the, the Phoenix. How are we doing? Check on the mage. Check on the mage. Mage is okay. Okay, let's buff our units. Orders received. Quickly now. To battle. Come on, focus up. Come on, we got way more stuff just doing nothing. Get it in there. Birds are taking out the archers. Good. Keep an eye on the mage. Keep an eye on the mage. Oh shit. Without fail. That's not good. Losing the mage was not good. They got archers in range to deal with it. Bastard. We could lose now. The mage was like our way to win this. Don't really have any much else. I mean, the dactyls can do something, I guess. Oh, wait, we still have this. I'd use it. Yeah, use it where there's not much threat. Mm. I suppose we could free up these guys. Right, get. Yeah, shoot the shoot the Sphinx. Oh wait, we got their leader. Where's my, where's my lord? Lord? Oh, he's dealing with the things. Go on, get a flank off. What are you guys doing? Get in combat. And use that. There you go. Oh, we saw his old blood doing. Dealing with the things really well. Oh, good hit. 
Oh, my salamanders are dealing with the Lord. Probably the wrong guys to deal with the Lord. Yes, nice. I got both their archers engaged. I right, get back in. Okay, we can use our big, our big brutes to deal with their leader. Looking like we're winning this now, to be honest. And the mage, the mage will respawn. He has a. Okay, this is good. This is good. Go on, get in the action. Get in there, birds. Kill that sphinx. The Lord's about to die. And we won! Hey, <laughs> let's go. Good start. All right, good start. Good start. My stegodons did work. They all, they all lived as well. Everything lived except the mage. We should be back in three turns anyway. I think we don't need money, so I'm just going to go for replenishment. You tried undead, but you did not succeed. And of course, you know the rest. We're waiting on bloody Croc because he died, didn't he? Is he close to being respawned? Let's check. Four more turns and Croc is back. But look at this new army I have. So, I rushed this army out because I was worried about the undead. Do I still need to be worried about them? Probably not, but I am worried about Zinch. Where is he? He's nearly dead. Right, you know what? Let's just kill his army that's coming over. Are we still in our own territory? No. So just bring him back to the Golden Tower. And we can keep recruiting. Thing is, he's got pretty good army so far, I would say. Um, we could get a Feral Trollgun, I would say. And then we could... Did we get an Ancient Stegodon? We got two of them. Right. Now we could do is the normal Saurus. Just because they're cheaper. Yeah. Go up to 19. Decent, decent. Not that it's causing a money problem. <laughs> I don't own that much, but my money's fine. It's so funny. Oh, well, that's about to change. Because I'm about to do a, a tier 5 upgrade over at Lamina. Garrisons are still not great down here. Did I build a garrison here? Yeah, tier four. Tier five. I guess garrisons have been substantially nerfed in uh, in Warhammer 3. I'm expecting... Do I go on the assault now or do I heal up? Let's check his strength rank. Because if he's, if he's really bad strength rank, it means he has no armies. No, he's strength rank 12, which means he's got a bunch more armies inbound. So that's... Uh, I guess we just have to keep holding. However. How is Kurt Saber not a, um, a town, by the way? It's an open field battle. It's very strange. Oh, no. Of course it's a town. I attacked them, didn't I? It's my turn still. <laughs> no, we don't need to create any outposts. I would suggest then we've done everything this turn or have we? We can't yeah, we can't really do anything with recruited everything diplomacy who are we friends with Oh, there you go Join confederation. I didn't know we could do that propose offer Right, so what have I gained access to? Does he have an army? Oh, I've got Antok now. Did he not have an army? Oh, that's not good. That was a mistaken um, confederation there. Or is it? We could just build an army. Aggressor. Weapon strength. Soros Old Blood? Obviously. Aquasur. 
It helps recruiting it in the right town. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, great. Well, I confederate. Oh, wait, there is an army. Not the greatest. Yeah, maybe we should have confederated so quickly. Because it's looking like we're probably going to lose to Zinch now. Yeah, should have done that. That was dumb. Well, I may as well get something out of it. Income for now. And end the turn. Can't wait to die to Zinch. Oh, he didn't attack me. Why didn't he attack me? It's weird. The Empire. Cult of Sigmar wants a military access. He's not going to cause corruption. So I think we'll get trade agreements in the meantime with that proposal. There you go. Ah, he just has three armies over here. I forbid this. Interesting. They just appear to be raising me. Okay. Right, let's think now. Recruit. Do we say fuck it and get regiment, or do we build? We can build an army. It doesn't. This could be a budget, a budget army though. It doesn't need to be strong. So, just get. A bunch of budget stuff to defend. So, Lisbon are very good at defending towns. So, that should do the trick, really. I only serve the changer. Be gone. Ah, that is Fate Weaver. Time to run. Run away. You can have the Sun Tree of Glades. It's not my problem. Fate Weaver is back with just a random army. Interesting. Yes. Right, let's finish you guys off with, well, I would say more Saurus, to be honest. Yep, there you go. Finish it up. Unless we have any spawn. When are we going to get a spawn? Oh, events have to occur for that, don't they? Of course. So, how are things? Well, that's a bunch of rats over there, for sure. That's a bunch of dwarfs. We'll clear the undead out, then we'll have a border with corn, and then we're going to have to decide what we're going to do about corn. All I know is we're probably going to get attacked. Three Zinch armies just chilling around. Probably going to... they healing up. Slowly. A new, another army's on its way, we know that. Don't forget I can build some interesting skink units there. Some chameleon skinks. Give ourselves a bit of range. While we wait for our hero to return. Oh, for the first time ever, I have two choices on technology. And it's that one I'm choosing. Starus, oh blood. Yes. Want to get you to lightning strike, don't we? Oh, I have a, oh, I have a lord thing. Oh, yeah, I got two. Get both in. There we go. Making my army more stronger. No, I don't want to build any more outposts. One was enough. Thank you. What city is this? Utak. Well, it's a bunch of skinks, so yeah, we definitely lose. They've got soul grinders. I have no idea what city that is. I'm, I'm assuming it was a city that was decent. I don't know. Sometimes confederating seems like a mistake. But I do, but the, the one thing I confederated was is because now I can actually get the legendary lord, um, Tic Tac Toe. So, in a way, it's okay. Whoa, that was a money settlement? Oh, shit. That was giving me a lot of money, was it? All right, another undead army has come. How's this one even more ridiculous? I wonder. Bring him over. 
do not betray your king. They're really not letting me get settle here, are they? They're just sending one after another every single turn. Bunch of Saurus. I serve only the changer. I wonder if they're going to uh, attack me with both Zinch armies. Do Fate Weaver lost. <laughs> he actually lost. I'm not going to do anything to Antok yet. I think he needs to wait a bit. Can I help you? Dwarfs are on their way. Okay, I'm going to make a decision. Fate Weaver's pretty injured. These undead are causing problems. I'm going to head this way. I think that was the right or correct decision. Maybe. Right, we'll end the turn. What do you want, Bretonia? Trade agreement as well? And then I, I don't give you as, the demands aren't as high. Maybe we go for something like 600 instead. Yeah, you see? I'm good at negotiating. You can give me diamonds now. They didn't attack me. Yeah. No, we ain't gonna make it. Why is the movement in this area so trash? Fine. Did he just say dot? No, I'm not even going to say it because I don't want to get banned. Right, well. Where are you getting all these armies from? They're just spawning out of nothing. Oh, wait, they attacked me. Win. Um... Probably replenishment, yeah. I don't know if Zinch is going to become a problem. Elves, where is your army? You're meant to have one. Where is it? You don't have an army. You're just going to die. And Zinch keeps randomly spawning armies. Wait, he's in range? Of him, so he's in range of him. So if that's the case, no, that doesn't how it. That's not how it works. Let's see how it looks now. I'm not losing too many troops from waiting here. So, and I rather in the siege, I have a much better chance of winning. So, decline attack. We're gonna full send the undead, I think, and just hope that Zinch doesn't. You know what? I need to protect my land, and Tic-Tac-Toe is ready. So we'll pop him in the Golden Tower. So he's got good... I mean, the Golden Tower's got a nice garrison. Obviously, it's not the greatest of garrisons. So let's just let's just make a nice budget army to defend it, I would say. By the way, I really need Croc to spawn now, because I really want to be getting my discounted Lizardmen again. Gonna go for Skinks, because they're cheap. It just needs to hold. Alright. I don't know if things are going well or not. Zinch is causing problems. In one turn, though, we're going to kill him. Antok is under attack now. Is that a new army? Can I win this? There's no soul grinders. It's skinks. No, just don't even bother. They are so annoying. Struggling here. We are struggling. Decisive defeat. Oh, you bastards. They attacked my very dangerous army. For some reason, it's not in range of my other armies, though. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, this is going to be hard. Let's just go. We have a very good army, to be fair. And if them attacking us, we just need a good location. Sit up on a hill and we'll win, for sure. This one. 
So. Not. Oh my god. It's three armies. Oh. Uh, great. This is now a problem. Surely the third army is just chaff, though. Let's have a look at both. So that one, yeah, the third army is chaff. The second army is also the both chaff. Both of the two armies are chaff, I think. Chaff? No, that's dangerous. Chaff, dangerous. Right. And the army that spawns is dangerous. Now, do we have a place? Now, they can't bring it all in at once, though, as we know. So, do we just sit in a corner and hope? We have Temple Guard. We have a lot of good stuff. I sit in corner and hope. We're Lizardmen. We stand strong. Right, so. Let's prepare our lines. We're going to go in lines of four. So, we're going to do one. Draw one. Then the second line is two. We got Ancient Stegadon. Saurus Old Blood. What else do we have? Oh, we got the Pale of Death as well. Carnosaur. And then of course we got our Temple Guard, which will be able to which will come in a little bit later at the end, the very end. Right, play. If there's one army that can hold against the Lizardmen, again, three armies, it's Lizardmen, because they're strong as shit. It's a shame we have no magic. And we'll be just sending in the Asian Stegadon, because they have lightning bolts that they fire. Right, we need something fast that's going to be able to chase down these horse units. Carnosaur? How fast are the Saurus? Oh, this guy's range! Oh, perfect. Yeah. I guess he breathes fire? Let's see. Alright. Here he goes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, he's breathing something. Oh, they just let my Cardasaur engage. Hey, that does a little bit of damage. Nice. But yeah, get the Ancient Stegadon in position because this thing just fires lightning bolts. If they get too close. All right, well, they're dead. What on earth is going on? Right, what range do they have? Honestly, get the ancient Stegadon in those clumps. And then those lightning bolts will wreak havoc. Right, it's just their chaff army that will be left after all this comes in. <coughs> well, this is a blow if I lose if I lose this army. So, if I can somehow win this. Got three lines. If a line breaks, the other one goes in. It's that simple. Saurus are very good at holding. It's a shame we have no artillery. Right, anyway, Carnosaur, get behind the line. Oh, why did I not? Why do I not have a wizard in this army? Oh, I didn't know they had catapults. Changes things a bit. 
Honestly, they're super clumped. I'm very tempted just to charge in the Stegadon. Those chariots are going to get annoying. Okay, charge straight into my Sauruses. Sending my Carnosaur. Because I've had enough of being shot at. Okay, there's the Finks. Once the clump arrives, I'll send in the Stegadon. And my Carnosaur is fast, so I'm just going to use it as a... To keep an eye on the line. I can already see this line starting to crumble a bit, so I'm going to send one unit in. Hold position. Okay, so far so good. Can't saw his fast, so I'm gonna move it off. Right, ancient stagger on. Start hitting more troops. Oh shit. I forgot about fucking feral. Temple Guard haven't even been engaged yet. No, that's annoying. Carnosaur just decided to be a dick. By charging the first edge, Asian Stegadon. They won't keep firing. I want to get these lightning bolts started. Okay, starting to waver here. Send another Lizardman in. Where are the lightning bolts? I thought they did lightning bolts. I guess not. Okay, start to send one of the temple garden. So many leaders. Oh, he rallied. Okay, another temple guard, send him in. Oh, lol, the stinks is behind us. Okay, he wants to attack the temple guard. That's decent. That helps me a lot. Stop the ar archers from firing. They have got chaff coming on, but it's only chaff now. Where saw his old blood. Oh, he's in the mix. Pull him back a bit and attack the Sphinx. You know what? Send in the other Asian Stegadon. We may as well at this point. They're doing work, so send them in. Get them amongst the mix. Don't run off, cowards! We're lizardmen. Focus! Kill their leaders. Oh, we've killed so many so far. Come on. No unit should be doing anything anymore. Get him in combat. Gorma. 
Go help over there. Kill that leader. Come on, rally you morons. Don't just run off. Just made this army. I'm so mad. Kill the goddamn archers. I thought Asia Stegodons do like a, a lightning strike thing. That's why I built them. I guess, it's, I guess it's just too much, isn't it? Too many units. Valent defeat, though. From decisive defeat to Valent. Uh, we killed most of the very dangerous army. All the cavalry dead. You know, 605 remaining. One frav. Yeah. It's annoying it's in Force March, which means it's going to die. That is painful loss. I mean, look how much we killed. That's only their tomb guard lived. Oh, dear. It's all just healed up. What? Oh, you're taking a piss. You are. The same things happen. How does this happen twice in a row? I've lost. I've lost again. I lost my ground again. I'm going to have to fall all the way back again and remake the armies again. Where Where's this like all just suddenly back full health army come from again? So how on earth am I defending this? We're just going to have to defend this bit at the top and hope that we can somehow stop them. It's backs against the wall. Very injured army. Now what we're going to do is have some fast units to activate the towers. As you say... We need fast units. Skinks are quick. They can activate the towers. Start the battle. What towers are we going to see? Okay, pretty decent towers.
tower's actually doing quite a lot. Oh, we're, we're waiting on supplies, aren't we? How many towers do I get at the victory point? Four. I get four towers. Okay, they're going to get up here now. Okay, let's get some good hits off. Towers doing some damage. Towers might be able to kill the ram here. Maybe. Okay, get another tower set up. Keep an eye, keep an eye out. Okay, let's start setting up. Very injured army here. Suppose we could put some barricades up, make it difficult for them. Put a platform, a blocker up here. Then they have less path to walk, then they have to go down the main line. Right, everything on guard mode. Nice damage. These towers are doing work. Loving Sea Guard. For order. Okay, all full tower towers are activated. We want to filter them into one area. Oh yeah, we've got salamanders here that can do some damage. How much have we killed so far? About a thousand troops. Oh, I forgot about my reinforcements. Oh my god, this guy's a mage. Guess we distract this little army. Keep this tower activated. Yeah, get all towers on the Sphinx. It's taking damage. Let's try to distract him. They're actually using my own towers against me. I mean, I'm going to try and win this. I don't know how. Or, or, but I'm hoping they all clump up in the center here. And I can use that big storm on them. 
killing the Sphinx would be a great start. And all the towers constantly hitting is doing a lot, a lot for me. Magic tower decks as well. Can upgrade that. Over oh, the salamanders can get a great hit off as well. Okay, kill the catapult. Really weaken them. Okay, kill one of their lords. Where's Saurus? Finish one of their lords off. Oh, lovely hits. One down. Get back into position. So what we want them to do, we want them to send every single their commanders in like this. This works wonders. Can I be praised? It will be done. Okay, they're starting to club. Understood. He's nearly dead. How much units have they got left? 4,000. Oh, the mistake's down. Yep, we used some uh, magic there. Are they two guard. Yeah, they are. How can we repair our barricade? Pretty soon. Oh, we can missile tower this side now. Another leader dead. And they're burning as well. This could be one hell of a heroic victory. Oh, let's go kill an important le uh, unit over there. More stuff comes. To be honest with you, just send in the Bastilla Dom. They are funneling though, which I wanted them to do. Chariots are inbound now. 
Good that we focused there. Their archers, because they could actually take out the towers. So we want them dead, really. Is it working? Are we actually holding? Oh, their final leader. Send some troops over to go deal with it. Just shed Soros old blood over. The archers are the problem. If they keep charging in their leaders like this, this is good though. We've killed so many. Tomb Guard's almost down. Kill their archers. Their archers are actually the problem. Range. Oh, they're sending their bow, guys. Double leader down. Let them funnel more. We need them to funnel so much more. How many's left? Still loads. Victory condition still. What? Why? Why would it just end? I was still holding. What? No way everyone just gave up. Like, that annoys me so much. You just can't hold a city. I lose because of what exactly? Killed so many of their unit armies, man. Victor was in my grasp, but then that just happens. What? So what? what? How does that happen? I was winning, about to win, and then the, the game decided I'm going to just let make you lose. What? That makes no sense. That's so dumb. Oh my god. At least he's back. 
through such tools. He's just gonna die again, so no. Let's get someone cheap. Right. Well, I got I'm earning 8k now. I lost my entire army though. It's fine. Ugh. Well, tic tac toe. We lost our ground again. That's twice that's happened now. What do you mean, decisive defeat? What? Right, okay. I don't know how I lose this. They're super duper weak. It's looking like I'm winning this, not losing it. Alright, there we go. Randomly had to fight it for no reason. Right. At least we're done with that Zinch army. How defended is that? Not very. Okay. Need to think of something quick now. The undead have pushed me back. There's no way out of here, is there? This army is actually fucked. Anyway, we've we got a lot of money, so let's just make a new army. And I've decided ancient Stegodons suck. So at least we know that now. I thought they did that. It's that we need. The engine of gods requires the Zygmunt of old ones, though, which we don't have. Where's the Zygmunt of old ones? So I think we need to get a new army out. Let's get some Temple Guard. This could take fucking forever, this. We'll start with an army, a temple guard. Right, we need to change leader. A rather of croc. And then we can make tic tac toe over here. And this army. Oh, what? God's kidding me right now. Just because I've disbanded it, I have to wait now all that time. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. I'm mad again because I've lost my army. Again! How does this keep happening? This time I played it and then I randomly def got defeated. Even though I was winning, kinda. Well, I wasn't winning, but you know what I mean. I was killing most Do of their troops. But my army decided I don't like this anymore. I'm running. Yeah, I want to get some actual Saurians. Grab that. 
Oh, more money, I guess. Guess we don't need that many buildings. We don't need to uh, expand when we can stay here and just completely make a huge economy up. They weren't that great. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Skin Oracle. Skink Oracle. <sighs> Weapons Craftsman. We need that. Alright, we're spending a lot. We're spending a lot here. Spending quite a fortune. And four turns on the... Uh, on that army. Which is now owned by Croc. I will take my revenge, but I need to find the best army to deal with the undead. Is there even at any point? I'm just going to lose this lord. I think we should just disband this army. Because then I don't lose it and I keep that lord. I'm just going to kill Zinch off. If Zinch wants to just play around in the all over here with his three armies, I'll just take his city. And in the meantime... Let's actually get... Let's actually recruit an actual mage. He should be back now. Skink Chief. Here we go. Skink Chief. Um... Speed and a tr attribute strider. Okay, we'll get this guy over to the army. So we need some actual magic to defeat these godforsaken. Oh, wait, the skink chief doesn't have magic, does he? No, he doesn't. I got the wrong guy. I didn't want a skink chief, I wanted something else. Was it priest I needed? Yeah. I am building that building, so in a couple of turns we'll be able to get it. Yeah, we're going to have to wait before we can get some good mages. <sighs> God damn it. I thought you could get a... What's the other option? Surely you have another mage, don't you? It can't be long till he's back, surely. I don't know. All I know is now we're in a great spot, guys. At least we're getting money. That's about it, really. Oh! The undead and the and corn both defeated me! I... I... I can't seem to gain more land. I try every time. I make really good armies, I think. And then they just get destroyed. I don't get it. Oh, is he back? He is back. Right, what mount are we putting him on? I prefer this Tarragon. He actually could fly and do and cause havoc. I think we just roll over this inch Scarrison over here. But first, we need an army. Alright guys, I think that's going to conclude this episode. This was not a good episode at all. We have literally now lost territory. We confederated, we gained this, we tried, we lost Kaba Saber, and now we're in a bad situation. Yet again, will I actually win this campaign? 
Because I don't know if I will. I can't push out. For some reason, I just don't win. So I've got to find a solution. Please give me some, give me a hand in the comments below, and, and I'd really appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.